I am Dan Wheaton, and this is the Omega Experiment. So why did we do this album? Um, addiction ruled my life for 10 years, and uh, I sought treatment in 2008. And upon uh, release, uh, just needed an outlet, needed some catharsis, um, needed to vent in some way. And you know, I've been a musician for years and years and years. Started playing guitar at eight years old, um, and it was just natural to write about you know everything I'd been through. Um, and I had this concept laying around and. You know, my best friend Ryan, who plays keyboards, uh, does samples. He was was throughout this whole addiction with me, and I thought, you know, what better way to be able to address this and to, to have him be a part of it? You know, he just bought a new keyboard, and it just made it just made sense. So, who's behind the project? Um, well, obviously Ryan and I. And uh, in the beginning, we we sought out guest vocalists. Um, I wasn't very wasn't very confident in myself and my vocal ability uh, to begin with. Um, so, you know, we searched around. Uh, the first guy I got on board was my friend Bob Guthrie, um, who I've known for years and played in bands with. Um, and, you know, not only did I want his positive energy, but, you know, he's a very good vocalist too. Um, and he helped me write a few songs, um, vocals. And uh, then I brought on a guy named Victor from around here. He used to be in a band called Damascus and I'd known about his ability for a long time but had never known him but we formed a very solid bond throughout the process and you know his vocals uh, added a huge element to the to the mix. And then um, Jeremy DeWitt, you know one of my really good friends, I've known him for quite a while. He's been around the scene too um, locally and um, you know his personality really fit. You know he's he's crazy and goofy but he's also a very positive and, uh, and creative, um, so I definitely wanted that to be a part. And um, for the song "Fear," um, it's re really the only song that expresses, you know, true rage. And um, I'd been in a band with my friend Brian Seabolt for for years and years, um, called Oddity. Um, and I knew, you know, he was a hell of a screamer, and you know, I needed some uh, some screams for fear. So there it is. The recording process. I've had the recording background, uh, just recording demos in you know various studios and bands for many years, and you know I've always kind of demoed stuff myself, but didn't really get too serious about it until we started recording this album. And I figured, you know, the Omega Omega means end, um, and that was to signify an end of a very trying time in my life. And then experiment is, you know, just experimenting with sounds, and that's what we did. Um, at first, I thought the production was pretty haggard but you know learned a lot throughout the process and you know used various uh, you know uh, drum writing programs like Steven Slate drums and uh, um, various software you know plugins um, amp sims um, did it all internally did it all in this room uh, and that's the beauty of the modern age is you know you can make a, a whole professional sounding album without having to step out your front door Uh, the mastering process, um, I really wasn't too confident in my ability to master. 
Um, and I'd always heard that, you know, if you mix your album, it's best to have somebody else master it, master it or vice versa. Um, so I sought out um, Ackel from Tesseract, um, and he was he was more than happy to to work with us, um, and he did an outstanding job. Um, and for the art direction, uh, we got uh, Igor Amode from Uneven Structure. I really liked the layout of Fibrous when I first saw it when it came out. Um, so I contacted him on the internet, and there it is. When we first got a few songs done, I started sharing on the Devin Townsend forums. And uh, all of a sudden, one day I check, and, and there's Devin commenting on our music. And uh, I met him a couple times on tour and, you know, gave him updates about what we were doing. And he just, his encouragement really, really helped us to want to keep going with this. And uh, the more response we got, you know, from the internet community and likewise, uh, we decided maybe we can do this live. Um, so we sought out some uh, local people to local musicians to be able to, to fulfill our dream and and it happened um, our first show we played was a local show and the next night was Fractal Gods with Periphery and Textures uh, Human Abstract and Contortionist and then you know a couple weeks later we played with Devin Townsend you know Lifetime Dream So keep an eye out for the release. It'll be released digitally uh, on iTunes and Bandcamp. Um, keep an eye out for us on SoundCloud. Uh, our Facebook is facebook.com slash the Omega Experiment. Um, and that's it. Thanks. And we all understand that